Have you decided it's time to add a canine to your family dynamics, but you're unsure on what breed to get? Well, in today's video, we're gonna compare the differences between the Leon Burger and the Malinois. Welcome back to the Fenrir Leon Burger Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. Everything we do here is dedicated to helping you find the perfect breed for you and then helping you become a high level canine leader who can raise the perfect canine companion. If that sounds like you, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another upload of the Fenrir Leon Burger Show. So let's dive in and start with the history of both of these canines. Let's take a look at the history of the Leon Burger. The Leon Burger was the 167th different breed to be recognized by the American Kennel Club in 2010, but their history goes back over 170 years. They were first registered as a breed in 1846 after being bred from a cross of the Newfoundland, the Pyrenean Mountain Dog and the Barry de Manchretta by a man named Henrich Essig. Henrich Essig was a mayor of a German town called Leonberg. He bred them to resemble the lion on the town's coat of arms. He was successful and they took the name of the town to become known as the Leonberger. They became popular amongst royalty in mainland Europe and they were developed to look like the breed we recognise today through the 20th century. The arrival of war in mainland Europe was almost devastating for the existence of the breed. During the First World War, large numbers lost their owners in battle and because they fled to avoid the conflict and left them to fend for themselves. As a result, only five survived. The breed grew in numbers by the time the Second World War came around, but during the Second World War they were used on the battlefield to pull ammunition carts. This nearly led to their extinction for the second time as only eight survived. After making another recovery, they made their way across mainland Europe to the overseas of Northern America. In Canada, they were used as water rescue dogs. They first gained UK Kennel Club recognition in 1978, and thanks to lovers of the breed, Leon Burgers of today can be traced back to the survivors of the Second World War. The Belgian Malinois, as the name suggests, originated in Belgium. They're one of four varieties of Belgian sheepdogs that were developed in the late 19th century. The modern day Malinois can be traced back to this time and more specifically to a breeding pair owned by a Belgian shepherd named Adrian Janssens. In 1885, he purchased a rough haired fawn dog called Vos. He used to herd and flock, but also bred with short haired brindled brown dog named Lys. After this initial mating, Voss was bred with his daughters to further establish the line of grey rough-haired and short-haired Malinois and fawn rough-haired and short-haired Malinois. Today, Voss and Lisa are recognised as the ancestors of all modern Belgian shepherd dogs, as well as the Bouvier and the Dutch Shepherd. Breeders decided to give each variety of Belgian Shepherd their own names. A breeder named Louis Hugie Barrett had done a lot to popularise the fawn short-haired Malinois in the city of Malane. The Malinois name was adopted from the city to refer to the fawn short-haired Belgian Shepherd. Hugie Barrett recognised that there was a lack of sheep in Belgium towards the end of the 1800s and turned to showcasing the Malinois' intelligence, obedience and loyalty. Because of this, they were used in the 20th century as guard dogs and draft dogs, and they were also the first breed to be used by the Belgian police. During the First World War, they had many roles in the military, including messenger dogs, Red Cross dogs, ambulance cart dogs, and even light machine gun cart dogs. After the First World War, many American servicemen brought back Malinois and other Belgian Shepherd dogs. The first Belgian Shepherd Club of America was formed in 1924, and they were officially recognised by the American Kennel Club shortly after. Officially from the town of Leonberg in Germany, the Leonberger was bred to have the appearance of a lion, so they looked like the town's coat of arms. They reach their full size at the age of one, however they're not fully matured until the age of three. Male Leon Burgers usually stand up to 31 inches or 78 centimetres at the withers and weigh up to 150 pounds or 68 kilograms. Females stand up to 30 inches or 76 centimetres at the withers and weigh up to 140 pounds or 63 kilograms. They're a strong muscular breed that have a broad head, medium sized ears that hang close to the head, strong legs and a long fluffy tail that hangs low. Leon Burgers come in seven colour varieties including black, brown, grey, cream, red, sable and brindle. Leon Burgers of any of these colours should all have a black facial mask. They have a dense double coat that should be brushed every two to three days to keep their coats looking sleek and clean. The Belgian Malinois is a medium sized Belgian Shepherd that is often confused with the German Shepherd. They're a short haired fawn coloured dog with a black mask. Males will grow at a height of 26 inches or 66 centimetres at the withers and weigh between 75 pounds or 34 kilograms. Females are a little bit smaller with a maximum height of 24 inches or 61 centimetres and weigh up to 60 pounds or 27 kilograms. 
Their coat is short and straight and their fur is particularly short around the head, ears and lower legs. They do have slightly longer hair around their neck, forming a collar, but not so long that it stands out. They're a double-coated breed that generally sheds twice a year. They'll need brushing at least twice a week to keep their coat looking healthy and to encourage new growth. Leon Burgers have the potential to be a nervous or aggressive dog, so it's essential that you train them and socialise them. Proper socialisation from the early stage is crucial. Get them used to as many different sights, sounds, smells, people and other animals as possible. Try to introduce them to different people and various pets and they should become well-rounded and polite dogs. Persistence is key with training with this breed. They don't respond well to harsh training methods or shouting. They require a calm, consistent leader to look up to for guidance. As their leader, the best method for training them is positive reinforcement and plenty of treats and praise. They're an active dog that requires a good amount of exercise, so try and give them an hour of exercise a day. They thrive at dog sports like agility, dog diving, treble and sledding. Dog sports are not only excellent for exercise, but also keeping their minds active. They're a working breed and they're best when they have a job to do, so these sports certainly keep them entertained and focused. The Malinois is an intelligent and active breed that truly thrives in many tasks. They have a great deal of stamina and enjoy working, which makes them a great breed for police work, search and rescue, and performance events like agility. They're also a sensitive breed and don't respond well to harsher training methods. Due to this combination of high energy and sensitivity, they're not recommended for first-time owners and instead for those experienced with dog training. They love everyone to be included in family activities, so they're not best suited to homes where the family is out every day at school or work. They're quick learners and are eager to please. As we've already touched upon, they thrive at dog sports, but they also love to play. They've been described as having a higher play drive, as almost everything you ask them to do is like play to them. You should address this desire to play through exercise. They're a high energy breed and you should try to aim for at least 90 minutes of exercise each day, which is best split into three 30 minute sessions. It's not just physical exercise they need, but also mental stimulation. Try and incorporate this as part of a variety of games and exercises, like runs, walks, hikes, fetch, games of hide and seek, puzzle games and snuffle mats. Without mental and physical exercise, Malinois can become destructive and show behaviours like barking, chewing, anxious pacing, going to the toilet in the house and general destructive behaviour. So be sure you can dedicate plenty of time to exercise when choosing a Malinois because a tired dog is a happy dog. As we've already touched upon, socialising Leon Burgers is extremely important. This breed can become aggressive to other animals if not exposed to them from an early age. This isn't to say that they cannot ever live alongside other pets, but it underlines the need for excellent and early socialisation. When it relates to children, they have a reputation for being a gentle giant. This intelligent breed is loyal and affectionate with all members of the family. Just be cautious with them when around very small children, as they are big dogs who reach full size by the age of one, but don't fully mature until three. This big, excitable puppy can easily knock over a small child and potentially cause injury. As with any puppies, be sure to show your children how to approach and treat them and respect their quiet time. Never approach them when sleeping, eating and don't leave them with young children unsupervised. Well socialised Malinois make good family companions. They're great with children, especially if they've been raised around them. It's important to remember that they have a strong herding heritage. This can sometimes lead them to nip at children's feet and heels during playtime. An adult Malinois who's not familiar with children should be better suited to her at home with older children who are mature enough to know how to properly interact with dogs. This is worth thinking about if you're adopting or rescuing an older dog. You should always teach young children how to approach and touch your Malinois and supervise any interactions between them to prevent bad behaviour from either side. Malinois can become aggressive towards other dogs and cats unless they've been raised alongside them. If you want them to get along well with other dogs and animals, it's important to start socialisation early. Ensure you use positive reinforcement and reward appropriate behaviour. The breed does have a naturally high prey drive and natural hunting instincts which can make them challenging with other small domestic pets. This isn't to be said that they cannot get along well with them if they have been well socialised and raised alongside them. However, they should never be left unsupervised as accidents can happen. The Leonberger and the Malinois are two beautiful medium to large breeds who have the potential to become your family's perfect companion. The Leonberger is more naturally gentle towards younger children but is also the larger of the two and their playful nature is more likely to knock over and injure little ones. They're both active breeds who would suit an owner or family who likes to get out and exercise. Either of these fantastic breeds would be the perfect choice to a family who can meet their needs.
Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget, if you are new here, to make sure you subscribe. We have three dedicated Leon Berger videos coming here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Leon Burger Show.